welcome to lavanya's computer classes in this video i will explain linear search and analysis of linear search what is the worst case best case and average case of linear search so what is a linear search <coughs> linear search means it's searching the element linear search is used for searching an element in the given list so that is called as linear search first like for example if you are taking some elements like this it is an array representation so in this we are taking the elements 20 15 7 45 23 so our next 100 taking the elements like this in this i want to find search an element my key element is 23 so i want to search 23 element is in the given list or not so using linear search you have to searching the element so how can you search the element means this is the array elements it starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 totally six elements are there so what is the algorithm for finding element in this means if key element what is key element key element is 23 if key equal to a of i because i value starting from for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this is the loop so if key of key equal to a of i then find it is a then print f it is a successful search otherwise unsuccessful like this we can search it this is the linear search algorithm just else print f unsuccessful search unsuccessful search so this is a simple algorithm only so take the elements loop elements from i value 0 to i less than n and search each and every element with key compare the key element is in the first element or not so for example what is here loop i value is starting from 0 what is n here n equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and equal to 0 so i value 0 to i less than 5 means 0 to 5 so what is the key element key element is 23 so first key element 23 23 is equal to a of 0 so what is a of 0 a of 0 means 20 so 23 equal to 20 is it true or not means it is false so then we go for i plus plus i plus plus means i value 0 now it is incremented to 1 <coughs> a of 1 a of 1 means is coming to here So what is f one fifty, and what is your key element? Key element is twenty three. Fifty is equal to twenty three. No, this is also wrong. Then again, i plus plus. I plus plus means i value is coming to second place. That is seven. So what is your key value? Key value is twenty three. What is f two? This is here f two. F two is seven. Twenty three is equal to seven. No, here also condition is wrong. Then again we go for i plus plus. I plus plus means i value is now two. Now it is coming to three. I three means coming to here. So what is key element is twenty three f three. What is f three value is forty five. Twenty three is equals to forty five. No, it is also wrong. So again go for i value i plus plus. I plus plus means i value is four. That means coming to here. So here, what is our key value? Key value is twenty-three. Yeah, four. Yeah, four means it is twenty-three. So twenty-three is equals to twenty-three. Yes, that means it is a successful search. So like this, linear search algorithm is works. So linear search is also known as sequential search. sequential search means sequentially one after another each element is compared with its key element whenever both are same then immediately we write successful search otherwise check it one after another till the last element at the end of the element list also you are not getting the key element means it is called as unsuccessful search this is the concept of linear search now i will go for analysis of linear search linear search means either we explain any analysis is explained with three cases one is the best case average case then last one is worst case 
in these three cases we are just analyzing any algorithm best case average case and then worst case what is the best case best case means it is search key present at the beginning of the list only best if the search element is available in the beginning of the list that means first element is your key element then within first iteration the first time only we get the successful search that is called as best case best case means in the beginning in beginning of the list only we get the successful search worst case what is the worst case means worst case is searching a key at the last index last index last index means last element that means search key is in the last element or totally not find in the list either it is a last index or not find unsuccessful search that is also called as worst case so what is best case means the element is available in the first index only that means zeroth index first place only we get that element worst case means the element is not at all present in the list or if it is present it is the last value last index position in the given list average case average case means it is between best case and average case between best and worst case that means it is available anywhere either not in the first position or not in the last position it is available between anywhere in the list that is called as average case yeah. video will explain binary search binary search with an example already in the previous videos i will explain divide and conquer method so binary search is also an example for one application of divide and conquer method so first we go for what is binary search binary search is a fast searching algorithm with time complexity of o of l log n so binary search is the we have two types of binary search, uh, search algorithms are there one is linear search and the second one is binary search the linear search is also known as sequential search so linear search is also a good example for searching technique but in this uh, if the element search element is in the last element if the search, which element you want to search that element is in the last position then number of iterations are more number of steps are more finding that element for finding one element you have to check all the elements if the size is more it takes number of iterations so that is the one disadvantage of linear search for overcoming that disadvantage we go for binary search what is the binary binary means two here all the numbers the list of elements will be divided into two parts either we search the elements either in this side or like this in this part so that's why number of iterations are almost all half of it will be reduced that's why binary search is well suited method for searching an algorithm so it is a fast searching algorithm because why it is fast means because either we can search either left hand side or right hand side depend upon the elements and it is based on divide and conquer method binary search algorithm is a good example for divide and conquer strategy and here we have to remember one point that is all data item should be in the order if you want to search any elements using binary search technique all the items should be in the order it is very very important so these are the some points in binary search algorithm now i will explain the algorithm of binary search algorithm so algorithm bst binary search bs while low less than or equal to high here we need low element and also high element i will explain with example if the low element is always smaller than or equal to high then calculate mid how to calculate mid means mid equal to low plus i by 2 after calculating mid then we need search element we need mid element and search element first mid calculate mid element that is low plus i by 2 then search element then compare mid element and search element if both are same three points we require first point is middle element and search element both are same that means then we get it is a successful search and the element is found at middle of the position then stop your procedure 
if it is middle element is greater than search element that means search element is small compared to middle element then go to left hand side that means middle element is here this is the middle element middle element is more means remaining all elements are smaller so go to right hand side a third element third point is if the middle element is more than search element then go to that means middle element is sm uh, small search element is more then go to right hand side so like this we can check it either middle element equal to search element or middle element is greater than search element that means middle element is more go to left hand side if the middle element is small then go to right hand side so like this we can start your procedure through example i will explain here i will take some elements these are the set of elements and one second i will tell you in the binary search all elements should be in the order so here i will take the elements 3 7 9 10 12 all are in the ascending order and then 25 29 like this so first i will take the array form so first find the positions also this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 elements are there so these are my 15 elements so in this first which element is there that is known as low and which element is here that is called as high so what is the position of here low equal to 1 high equal to what is your high value 15 so here low less than or equal to high condition we have to check it 1 less than or equal to 15 yes condition is true once the condition is true we have to do what we have to do we calculate mid element how can you calculate mid element mid element equal to low plus high by 2 so what is our low element 1 what is our high element 15 1 plus 15 by 2 that is 16 by 2 that is called 8 so what is our middle element middle element is 8 okay now we go for search element which search element is also known as key element which element you want to find that is for example we think it is 42 key element is 42 so search element is 42 what is your middle element 8th position so here check it what is your mid element a of 8 the 8th position which element is there 29 what is your search element search element is 42 so first point either mid equal to search is it clear is it true 29 is equals to 42 wrong so then compare which one is higher mid element or search element so what is your middle element middle element is 29 search element is 42 so 42 is more than your uh, middle element is smaller and uh, search element is more so search element is more mean then go to right hand side that means here middle element now so from here we go to right hand side that means not necessary to check it in the left hand side that is called as divide and conquer depends upon the middle element now it is divided into two parts left hand side and right hand side so in the right hand side what is the elements are there now again 31 36 42 47 53 55 then 62 so this is the elements now check the algorithm if search element is greater than middle element yes search element is more than middle element then what we have to do low equal to mid plus one so what is your low value actually low value is one here starting low value is one high value is 15 now we are now we coming to here low value is middle plus one what is your middle middle element is eight so low value is now nine nine element is here so this is now considered as low this is ninth position nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay now it is low and high is nothing no change here so high is still fifteen only 
low is 9 and high equal to 15. Again calculate mid. How to calculate mid again? Mid equal to mid equal to low plus high by 2. What is our low value? 9 plus 15 by 2. 9 plus 15, how much? 15 plus 9. This is 24 by 2. 19, 9 plus 15, 24 by 2. What is 2? That is 12. Okay. So, what is our middle element? 12th position. 12th position means mid element is now 47. But which element you want to search? Search element is 42. Again same thing. Mid equal to search? No. Again compare. Middle element is 47 and then search element is 42. So, which one is more? Middle element is more. If the middle element is more when the element is in the left hand side from here only. That means again it is divided into two parts. Here either right hand side or left hand side. So, which side have to go means check it depends upon the value. The search element is smaller than middle element go to left hand side. That means again we apply divide and conquer method. So, in this what is the parts again? 31, 36, 42 enough. So, what is the values of here again? It is in the 9th position, 10th position, 11th position. So, whenever middle element is more than search element, then we go to high value, you have to change it, high equal to mid minus 1. So, what is high value? Low is nothing, no change, low is 9 only, high value mid minus 1. So, what is our middle value? 12, 12 minus 1 means it coming to here, 11. So, here L is equal to 9 only, mid is now change it to 11. Okay, Nana? Again, we have to do same procedure, apply divide and conquer method again. Again, we calculate mid, low plus high, means 9 plus 11 by 2. 9 plus 11 by 2 means 20, 20 by 2, that is 10. So, what is our 10th? Mid element is 10, mid element means this one. So, middle element is 36, search element is 42, both are not same. So, again do it, searching. That means middle element 36 is less than 42. That means middle element is small and search element is more. That means you go to right hand side. Right hand side means here only one element is there. Whenever come here search element is smaller than middle element or uh, middle element is smaller than search element. So, whenever smaller than mm, middle element is smaller than search element go to right hand side but check it L value change it to middle plus 1. So, what is your middle plus 1? Middle value is 10, 10 plus 1 11, height we are not changed anything. So, here only, here um, only one thing left is here and low value is here, high value both are same. So, again calculate mid, mid is equals to 11 plus 11 by 2, that is 22 by 2, that is 11. So, what is your middle element? The middle element is 11. So, middle element is 11 means what is the 11th position? That is 42, mid element is 42. What is your search element? Your search element is also 42. So, mid equal to search. So, 42 equal to 42 then you are getting the element successfully in the 11th position. It is known as successful search, binary search. See here out of 15 iterations, 15 values are there, but 1, 2, 3, 4, within 4 searching, 4 iterations only we get that successful search. This is the main advantage of binary search. Bin